Hey guys, it's Malik at Awesome. and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reading you a scripture and it's in 1 Timothy 4.12. And it says, And don't be intimidated by those who are older than you. Simply be the example that they need to see by being faithful and true in all that you do. Speak the truth and live a life of purity and authentic love as you remain strong in your faith. So what that's saying is don't ever be intimidated by people that are older than you saying that you're too young. If you remember like in kindergarten and first grade, we get these slips of paper that say, when I grow up, I'm going to be. Well, let me ask you a question. What are you going to be right now? Why do we limit ourselves from when we get older? So there are multi-billionaires and very successful people in their life that have started their career when they were older, like 30 and up. And they say, I wish that if I could go back, I would have started my career earlier because I could have doubled my industry. I could have doubled my income. And they just, that was their one wish. So why don't you start right now? Because right now is your chance. Okay guys, so now I'm going to share with you a story about this girl named Adora Sivita, who really just is living a life amazingly at such a young age. So her mom bought her a Chromebook at the age of four and she just became fascinated with just writing and teaching. So she, she decided to publish her first book at age seven. That is amazing, guys. I'm pretty sure that sets the world record. So she is at age 12 now and she's published three best-selling books. She is just so amazing and she's taking her writing skills and changing them to speaking and teaching. So she has talked to 200 schools all around the globe and has reached out to so many kids and is really a very good example for all of them. So she said to, when she was in an interview, she said that older people kind of criticized her because she was so young, but she said that she took that as motivation to go farther than what they ever even thought that she could do. So she has used her voice on places like Good, Mor Good Morning America and CNN and TED Talks. So I'm just really proud of her and I'm really excited to see what she'll do with the rest of her life. So this is a really great example that I think we all can live by. Okay guys, so I know every time you go to sleep, you have a dream inside of you and you're constantly thinking about that dream. So I want to encourage you to pull that dream out of you and I want to see that dream to come to pass and I'm sure you want to see that dream come to pass too. So one of my dreams was to write this book called The Bridge Crossing Into Your Teenage Years and you can also purchase this book down in the description box down below. So I started writing this book and it started as a thought at age 12 and then it shaped into an entire book. It shaped into my full blown out dream and I published it when I was 13 years old and I didn't care that I was young. I went after my dream. Another one of my dreams was to start a YouTube channel and right now here I am. So you're watching me live my dream and I want to watch your dream come to pass. So comment down below what your dream is so I can pray over you and your dream. Thank you guys so much for watching with me today. Make sure that you check out next week for my next video. Bye guys.